I'm Michelle Babb. I'm a registered dietitian and a cooking instructor. And one of the things I love to do is to help people find interesting ways to cook vegetables that they might not be as familiar with. So one of the great things that comes in the Fredgies box that I really like and a lot of people don't know quite what to do with are turnips. And these are actually in the cabbage family. So they're a root vegetable in the cabbage family. They've got a nice purple top and then they're white on the bottom. And they behave sort of similarly to radishes. So it's really easy to eat them raw or to just cut them up and put them in a salad. But today I have another really quick and easy way that you can put these together in a really nice soup or puree where we're actually using leeks in addition to the turnips. And leeks are such a nice complement to turnips because they're nice and sweet. They're very subtle. They're in the onion family, but they're just a little bit more subtle than your regular classic style onion. So I am going to cut up the leek first, and I've already washed this. And then to, in order to wash it, it's easiest to just cut it lengthwise here, about halfway through. And the thing about leeks is they collect a lot of dirt on the inside. You can see a little bit there at the top. Sometimes they're, this is a fairly clean leek, but a lot of times there's a co big collection of dirt inside here, and you just want to make sure you get that out, otherwise you'll have a little bit, a little bit more grit in your soup than you would like. So do a nice rinse, get that water in through the layers, and just keep opening it up. And that usually does a pretty decent job of getting that leek nice and clean and ready to use. I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I'm just going to cut it into strips. And we're going to be sauteing and pureeing, so we don't need to be too picky about how we're cutting it up. It doesn't have to be in too small a chunks. It can be a little bit larger. So we've got our leeks. Quick and easy chop. And then our turnips. So when you have nice small turnips that come your way, and you see these most often in the fall or in the cooler months, um, then you can actually go ahead and just use the whole thing with its skin on. If it's a little bit larger, then the skin sometimes get, gets a little bit bitter. So you might want to just go ahead and peel the skin off. And I've already prepped a few here where I've peeled the skin off. And then you're left with just the nice tender flesh. Also, if you have the larger turnips and you're concerned about that bitterness, an easy way to handle that is just to cut it into little rounds after you've peeled it and blanch it in salty water for about a minute. So again, we're just going to chump it, chop this into chunks. And what we're going to do with this is saute it. So I'm going to chop it in sort of small chunks just to help facilitate quicker cooking. Turnips are actually really good for digestion. So eaten in their raw form, they actually can be a digestive aid. You could also just chop these into little matchsticks and just use them in some kind of a dip on a veggie platter. So now I'm going to saute these things together in a saute pan with a little bit of olive oil or grapeseed oil. OK, so you want to pour a little bit of either grapeseed oil or olive oil or sunflower oil into the pan. And then we're just going to transfer I'm going to transfer over our turnips and leeks. And it's okay to put them all in at the same time. The goal is to make this nice and easy. And then you just want to get those moving around in the pan, get them well coated with oil. And then you're going to let these saute until the turnips start to get nice and soft and you get a little bit of caramelization on the leeks. So now you're just going to transfer the turnip and leek mixture into either a blender, this is a Vitamix, or a food processor works just fine. You could also use an immersion blender for this if you didn't have a very powerful blender. I'm just using some mushroom broth. You could use regular vegetable broth. You can also use just plain water and use your own seasonings. So bring in some vegetable broth. I'm also going to add some coarse salt. Just any kind of sea salt is fine. And a pinch of thyme. A little bit more broth. And then we're just going to blend. Thank <laughs> you. 
And then you're just gonna take and pour this. You might wanna reheat this. Vitamix uh, actually heats it as it's blending, but if you don't have that feature, then you might wanna just heat this in a saucepan. And then it's ready to serve. And I might garnish this with a little bit of parsley or I might just take a little bit of thyme. It would be great if you had some fresh thyme. Just kind of garnish that a little bit on the top. So it's a really simple soup to make. You could also do it a little bit thicker and it would be a puree. So that would be nice to serve like a piece of fish or some kind of a protein on. But it's perfect just as it is too. Two ingredients, a little bit of broth, very simple.